Hey there, in this video we are going to implement the repository design pattern in a Laravel application. If you're coming from a Symfony world or any other framework that uses the repository pattern to interact with the database, you'll be surprised to find out that Laravel doesn't come with this functionality out of the box. Even so, it's still pretty easy to implement and use the repository design pattern in a Laravel project. So let's go ahead and find out. For the purpose of this video, I've created an API that fetches all the users from a database. In a classic Laravel application, you would use the eloquent model to query the database directly in the class where you write the code. It could be a service type of class or a controller as in this case. Now let's refactor this piece of code so we can use a repository design pattern. Let's create a repositories folder at the root of our application. Before you create the actual repository class, you must first define an interface to specify all the methods which the repository must implement. Instead of relying on the repository class, our controller will depend on the interface. Let's create a user repository interface that has public function get all that will return a collection. Now that we have the interface, let's go ahead and create the repository class. Inside the repositories folder, create a user repository class which implements the user repository interface. Create a public function get all, which returns a collection and inside this method, return all the users from a database. Now that we have the user repository class, let's go ahead and use it in our controller. We'll do that by using dependency injection. And instead of relying on the repository class, our controller will depend on the interface. In a real-world scenario, this will make the code more robust to changes because we rely on abstractions, not concretions, which is a key aspect of the principle of dependency inversion. Now let's go ahead and see if our implementation is working. And it doesn't work because, like I mentioned earlier, Laravel doesn't support this out of the box. The last thing we need to do to make it work is to bind the user repository to user repository interface in Laravel's service container. Let's go ahead and create a new service provider by running the following command php artisan make provider repository service provider. Open the repository service provider and inside the register method, let's add the following line of code this app bind user repository interface with user repository class. Don't forget to import both of them. And finally, we have to add the repository service provider to the providers array in the config app.php file. Let's see if now it works. And it does. Awesome. All right. I hope you are now a bit more familiar with the repository design pattern and how you can use it in a Laravel application. If you like this video, stick around this channel because I will post more free resources like this one. You can also find me on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram where I also share web development and other geeky stuff. I was Carol and I'll see you in the next one.